Back again. I'm assuming you're not here for my pretty face. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today is a sad day for the Call of Duty franchise, though honestly, we all saw it coming, we all expected it, because you know what, Call of Duty is like that toxic relationship that people are in, you know, that toxic relationship where your partner used to really try, used to really care about you, but you've been together now for so long that they don't even really seem to give a shit anymore, it's kind of like that, because back when, Call of Duty used to really try to appease its player base, Call of Duty used to try to make things interesting for the player base throughout the entirety of the game's life cycle. One of the big things that they used to do back when would be the seasonal events. Back in Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as Call of Duty World War II, we got Operation Shamrock and Awe on St. Patrick's Day and leading up until St. Patrick's Day. What do we have here in 2024 with Modern Warfare 3? We have a $20 store bundle, and that's pretty much it, man. They put no effort into this really whatsoever. They want us to forget that Operation Shamrock and All was initially a thing. They want us to forget that people used to look forward to March in the Call of Duty community because we knew something big was coming. We knew something fun was coming. We knew we were going to have things to go for. No, they waited until St. Patrick's Day to release a $20 bundle. Here's the thing, man. Like, I play a lot of games. I like collecting cosmetics in games. I don't buy the cosmetics, but if I can earn them in game, I like to do that. I like to do holiday events especially but the thing about holiday events is who gives a shit about the holiday themed content when the holiday is over like hypothetically if there was like a christmas themed event like we used to actually have in cod would you be excited to use that content in say february January even? No, not really, right? But the fun part of the event is as you lead up to the actual holiday itself, you're earning all that content, you're enjoying the content, then you actually get to celebrate the holiday in real life. If they would have had Shamrock Nod like they used to have way back when, then sure, we would have been earning all sorts of crazy content, playing on Irish themed maps and unlocking St. Patrick's Day themed content and using all that, then actual St. Patrick's Day would come up and we would have all that content and the event would be over and we'd be happy we got the content and we got to do all the things. But no, they waited until the day of St. Patrick's Day to release a Clover ghillie suit and a couple of St. Patrick's Day themed weapon blueprints for $20. And then tomorrow, people aren't going to really care as much because why would they? The holiday is now over. Unless maybe you're a ginger or a full-blooded Irishman, you're probably not going to care too much about those weapon blueprints now that the holiday is over. It just doesn't make much sense to me. Like, we were spoiled way back when. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. When we had supply drops in COD, I acknowledged that in a lot of ways, they were terrible. I made countless videos talking about how they could be improved and how we had a bunch of issues with the supply drop system. But that being said, however, we were treated a bit better as a player base back when they did have supply drops. Like, you go back to Modern Warfare Remastered, man. Like, here in 2024, with all the 3,000, well, not 3,000 anymore, they laid off half of them, but all the employees, right, and all the technology and all the things that they have right now compared to what they had back in 2016, you know, we get a $20 store bundle. But back then, they added Daybreak to Modern Warfare Remastered, which was a beautiful recreation of Downpour, which was historically one of my least favorite maps, especially aesthetically, but when they made it Daybreak, it was suddenly beautiful, it was full of Easter eggs, I personally had a blast going through a private match, yeah, private matches used to be fun back then, just going through private matches and trying to find all the hidden leprechauns on the map, like there were tons of Easter eggs added to the map, on top of that, there were two St. Patrick's Day themed camos that could only be earned during that event and by completing challenges on the Daybreak map, and then they added Shamrock Rock and off theme supply drops as well as collections to the game where you could use your armory credits that you earned from playing the game and use them to unlock a ton of St. Patrick's Day themed items such as a special graves operator, a shillelagh melee weapon, a bunch of different weapon blueprints, charms, calling cards, the whole nine yards. It was all there. It was a fantastic event. The same thing happened in Call of Duty World War II where they completely revamped the headquarters. They added two, count them two, brand new guns to the game just for the event itself. I mean, now they're just giving us a weapon blueprint, which is just a skin on a gun. Back then, they gave us actual guns with skins on them, just to make it even more fun. Leprechaun Hunt Mosh Pit, who remembers playing that? That was a ton of fun. Supply drops themselves back then were revamped right along with the event, and they also added Shipment 1944 with the update as well, but supply drops were revamped to give less duplicates, and as such, we got a lot more content out of Call of Duty World War II with the Shamrock Not update. Like, things were good, man. It was fun. And then you look at what we have here, 
year, almost eight years later, and it's nothing. They just the soul is gone, man. Like I, I talked about in my recent video, how COD has been feeling dry, you know. And this is just another aspect of it. Like the game feels soulless in a lot of ways. Like it just doesn't have that same passion come from the developers. There's nothing really to look forward to. We have the seasonal system. And it's like, oh boy, a new season. I wonder what they're gonna add. Oh, look at that. It's another meat grinder map that they remastered from some old Call of Duty title. Like they do the same shit almost every season. The new guns are fun. I do enjoy the new weapons when they come out, but having things like Winter Siege, Shamrock and all, I did a whole ass video last summer about Call of Duty Days of Summer and how fantastic that used to be. You know, all those things now are gone. COD has lost a lot of its soul, a lot of its flavor, a lot of the things that made the games so interesting. Like they took all those great ideas and just threw them out the window. And I was talking to some of you guys about it on Twitter and a lot of you guys were just saying the same thing, you know, why put all the time and effort into making an incredible event and revamping maps and making them holiday themed and adding challenges and rewards and things that would help people organically engage with the game. Why would you do all that when people have been so conditioned over all these years just to blow money on a $20 bundle? Back then, they would make some money off supply drops. There were always people that were whales and bought supply drops. I personally never bought a one of them and I got every single thing in the game because I just played the game a bunch because it was fun to actually unlock things as compared to having to pay for things. I still firmly believe that with the right system in place, supply drops were actually just better than the bullshit that we have now. I really think that's true and I could argue that with literally anybody. You got more things for playing the game. The game was more fun and engaging because you were constantly progressing towards something whereas now, where are you progressing towards? You know, if you ended up going through and getting interstellar camo in Modern Warfare 3, it was the easiest camo grind we've ever had by far so that's probably done for a lot of you if you're actually going for it you probably already have it by now or you're very close once you're done with that what else is there to grind for prestige mode is virtually pointless anymore i suppose the weekly challenges are pretty good getting the different aftermarket parts and things like that the weekly challenges aren't too bad i will say those are pretty good and i do like the events we have a new event going on right now with warhammer 40k but the thing about having events like that is it's either really good or kind of just boring as shit depending on if you're already into the collaboration they're not doing collaborations with like call to the adjacent things they're just doing random ass collaborations with whatever might be popular or whoever might want to work with cod so therefore we're getting things like dune and the boys and warhammer 40k me personally never watched or played any of those so i don't care <laughs> you know what i mean like i feel like there's a bunch of people out there that feel the same way if you're a fan of the boys you probably love all the boys events if you're a fan of warhammer you're probably loving the warhammer event if you're not a fan of them however it's like uh, i'm just not really all that into it so there's a lot more they could be doing to engage fans with the game but they're choosing actively not to and the craziest part is it goes back to that whole analogy about like this bitter jaded you know significant other that you may actually have or you're not just trying anymore you know, Call of Duty used to be really good to us. They really were. But we've been with them for so long now, we feel like it's too hard just to call it quits. You know what I mean? We're still stuck in this toxic ass relationship where even though you're putting in the effort, you know, the other side isn't. Call of Duty, they sucked us in way back when. For me personally, it's back during Call of Duty 4, then the Golden Age with like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2. And then after that, we had some sketchy games here or there, but then we had a bit of a, you know, a resurgence, I would say, with games like Modern Warfare Remastered, COD World War 2, Black Ops 4. For some people, Infinite Warfare was really good. I personally played Modern Warfare Remastered, but it was a really fun time. And then Modern Warfare 2019 came out and they revamped the entire monetary system that they run off with the game. And ever since then, where we had to stop paying for map packs and things like that, everything has just collectively gotten shittier. It's one of those things, man, like you get what you pay for, I suppose. Like the seasonal updates that we get here, I don't think are in any way comparable to the map packs that we used to get back when. Sure, they're free now, and that's good, and we don't have to pay for season passes or map packs, but I don't think it could be argued that the map packs that we used to get were a lot better in terms of content. It wasn't just a bunch of remasters. You know, it was like three to four, sometimes five original maps and maybe a remaster on top of that, plus zombies. You know, it was a whole bunch of shit, whereas now they're just remastering maps like Shipment and DOS House over and over year after year. Where's the soul? Where's the fun? Where are the holiday updates? Where's all the stuff that made COD interesting? I'll tell you where it is. Buried deep in the ground. And you want pad the dirt on the very top of that grave? The shop. That's literally it, man. It's just frustrating how everything is about the shop within Call of Duty now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for my little rant here today. You guys know me. I used to love the holiday events, and every single year, every single time we come through and a new holiday event is supposed to happen, and it doesn't, and instead we get a $20 store bundle, I'm going to end up making the same damn video.
It's ridiculous, man. It's frustrating. Call of Duty used to be good to us. And I wonder if it's ever going to go back to that. Probably not, though. Sunk cost fallacy. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.